what's going on YouTube? How about you? Wakey wakey. Hands off snakey. Yep, it's that time. Man, I haven't done one of those in a long time. But uh, I am back. Took a week off. And I tell you what, man, it was glorious. It was everything that I thought it would be. Uh, I did some fishing with my boy. Uh, fishing with my wife. Uh, did a whole bunch of stuff around the yard. Um, all sorts of stuff, man. Uh, did some work on the truck. Got the got this new Kenworth all situated. Um, did some work work on the wife's truck. Put new shocks on it. All that crap. But uh, we are back to trucking. And uh, today is actually day two in this new Kenworth. But uh, uh, yesterday was day one. Uh, coming out of home time for a week off, man. <laughs> and uh, everything's good, man. This truck is cool. Um, we had one problem, though, and it was kind of heartbreaking because it was on my first load, you know, my very first load. And uh, pour this coffee here. My very first load, man, which we're under right now. And, uh, I had to drop, I was picking up at Dannon, getting yogurt here in Fort Worth, Texas, right? And uh, they make you pull away, they make you basically drop your trailer and uh, pull out from the trailer just a little bit, right? Unhook your airlines, all that stuff, and then uh, drop your trailer. It's kind of a safety thing, right? So uh, they don't want the drivers uh, driving off with the trailer with the forklift guy in the back, right? So they, a lot of places, Walmart makes you do it, um, a few other places make you do it, it's just for safety. Um, you got to drop the trailer and then pull out from underneath it just a little bit and uh, sit and wait for them to load you or unload you. But anyway, I did that and uh, I dumped my my airbags in the back to lower the uh, trailer to kind of um, that just makes it, some of you guys that know, y'all know what I'm talking about, but for you guys that don't know, uh, we can dump, we got, a, most of the trucks have a switch on the dash, and we can dump the airbags, um, and it lowers the back of the truck, so we, we drop the trailer, and then we lower the, uh, airbags a little bit, it makes it easier to, uh, pull out, um, it makes it just a little bit easier, it's easier on the equipment, and, um, Sometimes you can lower the airbags to scoop up a low trailer that somebody dropped. But anyway, uh, dropped the airbags, pulled out, and I uh, flipped the switch back. And I guess, I don't know, it's a new truck, I'm not used to it. I didn't know, I couldn't tell if it was airing up or not, you know. So, I did my thing, I just sat there. <laughs> Sat there and hung out and talked with the boss man, talked with Woody, um, talked to a few other people was getting loaded and uh, come out and, and uh, dude come out with his paperwork and banging on the door. And, All right, bud, you ready to go. Okay, cool. Right on. So I uh, fired the truck up and uh, backed up under it. And I was like this, the trailer was this, but this tall, you know, because I was still dropped down. Apparently... Uh, the truck didn't air up. You know, when I flipped the switch up on the dash, the truck didn't air back up. So I'm like, well, shit, what the hell? You know, mud flaps are dragging. My flow below kit was dragging. And um, there was something wrong with the solenoid. Uh, the switch was good. And uh, something wrong with the solenoid. Uh, let me go up here and grab my coffee. Hang on a second. Uh, you know... This is one of the things that I don't like about this new truck. Um, it's all good so far, but this, the curtain, man, what's up with that? What's up with that, Kenworth? How am I supposed to have quality snaky time? How is anybody supposed to have quality snaky time? When you can't really close the curtain, man. I don't get it. What's up with that? <laughs> all right. Boy, there's not a lot of places to put this camera here. I gotta figure out some mounts, man. I gotta give me some mounts, but uh, here we go. We're ready to go. Um, yeah, the curtain sucks, man. I don't know. I don't know about that, but uh, 
I'm uh, sure y'all saw I, I got me a haircut while I was at home. I did the I did the L budget, the El Cheapo haircut there at the house, man. <laughs> it's summertime, time to get that summertime haircut, right? Um yeah man, that sucked. Um about the air valve. And it turned out it was the solenoid, like I said earlier, and uh we called uh RST was great man. Chris was on the ball. Um it was on top of shit, you know. And uh called road assist through Prime. That was the good thing about uh about working with Prime here is uh we use their road assist group and um called them, had somebody out here uh out at the shipper um within the hour. It was pretty damn quick. And uh man, it was a pain in the ass to get to. Um another thing for Kenworth. How about you, Kenworth? <laughs> What's up with putting all the solenoids and all that stuff? Um it was right it was on the like the frame rail, um right around where the engine and, and the transmission uh meet up, right in that area on the frame rail kind of. Um, the mechanic was good, man. He knew his shit real good, and uh, he had a hell of a time getting to it. Uh, he had to take off like three or four brackets, uh, the splash guard in the uh, wheel well, and go-go gadget arm up in there, you know. And it took him a while, man. It took him a while to even get to it. Um, and then took it out, then had to go. He didn't have the part on the truck. Uh, special pack R product, you know. It's all... It was a whole bank of uh, of uh, solenoids and switches, right? And just one of them was bad. So he took it down to uh, Kenworth and Fort Worth. They didn't have the part, so he had to go all the way down to Peterbilt. And Peterbilt had the dang part, so he was gone for about an hour. And uh, came back with it, put it all back together, and we rocked and rolled, man. I helped him... Uh, was holding lights and grabbing tools for him and stuff because I wanted to get the hell out of there but um, it went pretty smooth but you know I guess the point is that was my first load you know for you uh, uh, owner ops and, and guys getting into leases out here you know um, we always talk about I always talk about it anyway that you know on your very first load this truck could break down well it did <laughs> it did it broke right at the shipper you know um can't go down the road like that i couldn't haul freight like that with the, there i had no air in the bags uh, at all it was squatted back there um can't haul freight like that can't go down the road like that um it puts a real bind on the drive shaft um the rear drive shaft angles were so twisted man from uh being dumped back there you know that's just the way it works um it's cool to go you know maybe across the parking lot or you know a very i don't even want to say a short distance but it's cool to just hook up your trailer drop and hook your trailer you know and then air it back up but you don't want to go down the road uh with no air in the back you know so i was stuck i was stuck like chuck man on my very first load and uh, RST was a champion about it. They got somebody out there. And um, it's all taken care of. So we are going into day two uh, of the Kenworth. Um, I currently, the truck doesn't have a Qualcomm on it. And uh, I got to get the uh, Epic View. Uh, yep, we're putting e Epic View in this truck too. The Direct TV and all that stuff. Um, we're going to have that done at Prime because this is a common truck uh, we didn't want prime messing with the lone star uh, for obvious reasons because they don't have a lone star but uh, prime runs these these kenworth so they're familiar with uh with how to hook it up and all that stuff so we're gonna have it done at prime uh, i'm gonna get the qualcomm put in uh, been trucking old school man um <laughs> it's been kind of nice man been kind of nice been running paper logs um uh, no Qualcomm, just been having a call, call and, and emails, you know, it's been kind of nice, but, um, you know, you get used to this, these electronics out here, and um, 
kind of lost to be honest with you some of y'all can laugh and do whatever you want but kind of lost without the Qualcomm you know without that communication device man it makes it really easy to uh, do your log book and all that stuff you know electric log books are on their way and it's coming guys it's 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 here um, it's easy man see it's really easy um, I don't know you know been running paper last night be running paper today and a little bit of tomorrow uh, getting into Springfield it's cool you know it's cool I know what I'm doing I've been running pay I run paper before so it's not a big deal but um, it's nowhere near as easy as the uh, just pushing a button you know so that's what it's all about is push a button and uh, let it do its thing you know but we are back trucking I'm gonna be making a lot more videos um, I've got a few more truck tour videos that I've uh, got to put together and uh, continue documenting my grind how about that um, I do know tonight tonight today is Wednesday uh, May 3rd right and uh, Wednesday night every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock Central over on L and J radio you can google L and J radio it's that easy or you can go to L and J radio dot com uh, Robin Woody show dot com we're having the Robin Woody show again tonight okay guys need to watch these or listen to these shows man me and Woody are are just uh, killing it on on putting out good information for you guys and tonight we're gonna have a special guest and uh, a feller from fast fuel systems all right um, basically uh, well y'all have to tune into the show and figure out what fast fuel systems is all about I'm not gonna tell you about it right here right now or else you won't listen to the show <laughs> So go check out the show tonight, uh, 8 o'clock Central Time, l j Radio, Robin Woody Show. Uh, we're going to be breaking down some good information and a special guest from Fast Fuel Systems. So that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. What is it? What it does? How it can help you? Um, horsepower, fuel mileage, maintenance, um, all that stuff. It's going to be a good show. So go ahead and tune into that. And... Uh, I'm going to get the hell out of here and get rolling. So, y'all stay tuned. And, uh, like I said, I got plenty more coming at you. We are back. Vacation is over. Break time is over. It's time to get trucking. And, uh, y'all remember to be the professional out here. Set the example. Help your brothers and sisters out. And, uh, revive the brotherhood. Let's try to make trucking great again. Alright, I'll talk to you later.